Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island An ancient artifact suggests Vikings may have landed on the island. This week on The Curse of Oak Island, a mysterious artifact leads the team to suspect that Vikings may have visited Oak Island over a thousand years ago. This week began with a major disappointment for the guys as the operation to excavate the garden shaft ground to a crushing halt. The plan to have the Dumas Mining Company open up this shaft and get the team below ground in the money pit was the main focus for this season. But once again, the guys have found themselves hampered by government bureaucracy. Dumas's plan was just to excavate and stabilize the shaft, but the government has stepped in to insist that as it's a mining operation, they need the proper permits, Craig Tester told a clearly gutted Rick and Marty Lagina that the process would take a long time. Rick added that there is no end in sight. Luckily, the Lagina brothers never stay despondent for too long. After a deep sigh, they picked themselves up and began looking for the next area of the island to explore. This week's main excitement stemmed from Gary Drayton and Jack Begley's mysterious find on Lot 8. Last week, the two compagers pulled up an intriguing ornate metal plate that featured unknown insignia. It was something the archaeologists had never seen before. A preliminary analysis of the piece by Laird Niven and his team, along with a visual analysis by Mayan expert Dr. Edwin Barnhart, suggested that the object may be ceremonial in nature and was probably European, and could be extremely old. Expert archaeologist says Oak Island artifact could be Viking in origin. This week, Edwin was back, and after taking a closer look at the artifact, he came up with a stunning theory. Firstly, Edwin confirmed that the object consisted of copper, zinc and lead which made it brass, a substance only used in Europe. He initially speculated it might be Portuguese in origin, but amazingly, he also argued it could be Viking. Edwin stated that the Vikings were known for using brass to put plate over objects. This would place the artifact somewhere between the 8th and 11th centuries. The archaeologist also said that the Vikings or Norse were known to have reached Greenland and Newfoundland in the 10th century and that it was possible they also made it to Oak Island. Recently, the fellowship has focused on either the French, the Portuguese or the Templar Knights as being key to the Oak Island mystery, but now with the introduction of the Vikings, the timeline is being pushed even further back. This isn't the first time Viking treasure has been associated with the island. In 1996, metal detectorist Robert Young claimed to have found a Viking coin on Lot 5. Unfortunately, Lot 5 is currently out of bounds for our team. Oak Island team uncovers a mysterious void at the money pit. In the meantime, a borehole drilling team at the Money Pit has been following the path of an underground tunnel they suspect might be heading toward the garden shaft. Unfortunately, they seemed to lose track of this tunnel last night, but they may have found something even more interesting. At approximately 145 feet, the drill hit a massive void, a void that Alex Lagina suggested could not be natural. This void or cavity, immediately led the guys to suspect they'd found the elusive offset chamber, an underground and secret room where Marty Lagina suspects the treasure to be hidden. The dense forest of Oak Island whispered ancient secrets as the wind wove through the trees, caressing the rugged landscape with a touch as old as time. The island, shrouded in mystery and legend, had lured treasure hunters, historians and adventurers to its shores for over two centuries. Among the many tales that swirled around the island, a new chapter was about to unfold, one that would rewrite history and ignite imaginations worldwide. It all began with a routine dig. The Lagina brothers, Rick and Marty, were methodically excavating a site they had long suspected held significance. Years of research, exploration, and near misses had not diminished a determination. On this particular day, as the sun hung high in the sky, casting dappled light through the canopy, they stumbled upon something that would change the course of their quest. Marty's shovel struck something solid and unusual sensation against the relentless resistance of rock and soil. He paused, glancing at Rick. Did you hear that? He asked, his voice tinged with excitement. 
They knelt and carefully brushed away the dirt, revealing the edge of a stone slab etched with unfamiliar symbols. Brothers exchanged a look of astonishment. They had found plenty of artifacts over the years, but nothing quite like this. The symbols were intricate, almost runic in their design, suggesting a language and culture that predated the known history of the island. They carefully lifted the slab, revealing a small weathered chest beneath it. With bated breath, they opened the chest to find an assortment of objects. A rusted ornate sword, fragments of pottery, and a silver amulet encrusted with gemstones. But the most intriguing item was a tattered piece of parchment. Its faded ink revealed a map but not just any map. It depicted the North Atlantic region, and the coastline unmistakably included Oak Island. The map was labeled with Old Norse script, a clear indication that Vikings had not only reached Oak Island but had left a mark of their presence. Rick and Marty's hearts raced as they realized the implications. This was no longer just a hunt for pirate treasure or lost gold. It was a potential link to one of the most legendary seafaring civilizations in history. News of their discoveries spread like wildfire. Experts in Viking history, linguistics, and archaeology flocked to Oak Island, eager to authenticate and study the artifact. Dr. Ingrid Magnusson, a leading Viking historian, was among the first to arrive. Her piercing blue eyes gleamed with excitement as she examined the chest and its contents. These runes are consistent with Viking inscriptions from the 10th century, she said, tracing the symbols with her finger. If this is genuine it could be one of the most significant discoveries of Viking exploration in North America. The island buzzed with activity as the team worked tirelessly to uncover more evidence. Ground-penetrating radar revealed a network of tunnels and chambers beneath the surface, hinting at an extensive settlement. The artifacts, combined with the structural evidence, painted a vivid picture of a Viking presence far more substantial than anyone had ever imagined. Among the most remarkable finds was a large stone altar adorned with carvings depicting Norse mythology. The image of Thor wielding his mighty hammer, Njolnir, stood proudly at the center. Surrounding it were scenes of voyages, battles, and rituals, all suggesting that Oak Island had once been a site of great importance to these intrepid explorers. Magnuson hypothesized that Oak Island might have served as a temporary settlement or a strategic outpost during the Viking expansion across the Atlantic. The presence of the altar indicated that it also held spiritual significance, possibly as a place of worship and sacrifice. As the team delved deeper, they discovered traces of dwellings, storage pits, and workshops. Charred remains of wooden structures hinted at a settlement that had either been abandoned or destroyed. Among the ruins, they found tools, weapons, and personal items, each telling a story of daily life, struggle, and survival. The most enigmatic find, however, was a series of stone tablets buried near the altar. The inscriptions on these tablets, once deciphered, revealed a saga of exploration, hardship, and hope. They spoke of a great chieftain who led his people across the treacherous seas in search of new lands. His name, Jorn the Brave, was etched into history as the leader who brought his people to Oak Island. The tablets also referenced a hidden treasure a hoard of silver and gold that Jorn had amassed during his voyages. According to the inscriptions, this treasure was buried in a secret chamber, protected by intricate traps and puzzles. The challenge now lay in locating this chamber and unraveling its mysteries. Rick, Marty, and their team, driven by a renewed sense of purpose, continued their search with unwavering resolve. The island, with its labyrinthine tunnels and hidden chambers, guarded its secrets fiercely. Every discovery brought them closer to understanding the island's ancient past and the Vikings who had once called it home. The legend of Jorn the Brave and his hidden treasure captivated the world. Oak Island, already a place of myth and mystery, now stood at the forefront of historical exploration. The possibility that Vikings had not only reached North America, but had established a significant presence on Oak Island, challenged conventional historical narratives, 
and sparked a reevaluation of Viking exploration and influence. As the excavation progressed, the island slowly revealed its secrets. Each artifact, inscription, and structure added a piece to the puzzle, painting a vivid and complex picture of Viking life on Oak Island. The discovery of the ancient artifact had opened a new chapter in the island's long and storied history, one that promised to keep historians, adventurers, and dreamers enthralled for generations to come.